Hey guys, I'm Calder from Wooting. You might remember me from our first Kickstarter campaign, The Wooting One, where a bunch of you guys supported our quest to make analog keyboards the industry standard. But ever since, we felt we were missing something. An emptiness that the Wooting One just couldn't fill. We started experimenting, testing, and even soul searching. But we just couldn't figure it out. And then it came to us. It was like somebody was whispering in our ears. The ultimate experience. More RGB effects. No, okay, I'm just joking. You guys asked for a numpad version, so we created the Wooting 2, a full-size analog mechanical keyboard. It's everything you love about the Wooting 1, but then with a numpad. The Wooting 2 can see how far down you press a key for analog input. This technology gives you a whole new input dimension that you can already use in games. For example, you can get more immersion walking at NPC-friendly speeds or sneak up to an enemy. In games with vehicles, you have more control over the steering wheel and it's much easier to make those smooth maneuvers. Or in competitive games like Counter-Strike, walk at a faster pace than shift speed without making any footstep noise. Another unique feature is the new and improved DKS function. You can assign multiple key bindings to different actuation points on a single keystroke. You can use it to see the casting range when you press the key halfway, or quick cast when it's pressed all the way down. Or take it up a notch and use the advanced bindings. For example, in Fortnite, you can select building, build, and swap back to your gun on a single keystroke perfect for rushing your opponents. The possibilities are endless when you start thinking outside the box. But not only is it an analog keyboard, it's also an extremely fast keyboard. Thanks to the Switch technology and our optimized firmware, we've achieved the lowest possible input latency. And of course, it can type like any other keyboard. You can even change the activation point the Wooding 2 uses FlareTech Prism switches. These are silky, smooth feeling switches that give a unique typing experience. There are currently three variants available. There is a Linear 55 red switch, and there's a Linear 85 black switch. These are both linear, very smooth feeling, but the black switch is a little bit heavier than the red switch. And then there's the Clicky 55 blue switch. This one has a click on the downstroke and on the upstroke. All FlagTech switches have a lifespan of 100 million clicks. And even if you break one, it doesn't matter because they're hot swappable. You can easily replace and combine them with other variants. With Wooding 2, we wanted to stay in line with our design philosophy. A simple, yet elegant, no-nonsense design. And if that isn't fancy enough for you, you can light up the whole keyboard with perky RGB and various effects. You can also use our unique analog effect for live feedback. In addition to the numpad, we added four extra keys on the top. These are by default dedicated profile keys, but you can easily rebind them to something else with the Utility software. We built the Utility from ground up and made sure it's easy to use. You can configure everything in the Utility from RGB lighting to the activation point or even the analog curve. If you don't like to tinker around with it, you can easily load a profile from a fellow gamer. You don't need to run the software because everything is stored onto the Wooting 2. In case you're wondering, I'm not doing this alone. We have Jeroen, the engineer who constantly adds new features and makes the Wooting keyboards badass. And this guy Erik, he's the designer. He makes everything look stunning and user-friendly. And I am just the greasy salesman. Two years ago, we started a mission to make analog keyboards the industry standard, and that hasn't changed. That's why we're introducing the Wooting Developer Portal, a place where developers can find all the resources to make analog keyboards work natively in games, programs, and applications. It's also possible for them to create custom RGB control. We already made a couple of examples, like waveforms based on audio, or receiving RGB notifications from Discord activities. We're also really proud to announce the first game that has native analog support, Fool. 
a sandbox flying game where the goal is to relax and explore. With your contribution and our passion, together we can make the wooding too. But we can also continue making analog keyboards industry standard.